Okay, so here we are doing the 2017 National 5 Mathematics Paper 1 and I'm on to question 3 where we have to evaluate 1 and 5 sixths divided by 3 quarters. Okay, right. Um, 1 and 5 sixths, you should always change that into an improper fraction. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we do 6, 1s are 6, add 5 gives 11. That's the easy way to do that. So 1 and 5 sixths is 11 sixths. And that's to be divided by 3 quarters. The easy way to do that is to change the sum to a multiplication and flip the 3 quarters round, only the 3 quarters round to be 4 over 3. These two sums have got the, the correct same answer, but uh, that one is easier to do. Okay? Why? 11 4s are 44, 6 3s are 18. Easy as that. Uh, simplify it. Uh, 18 goes into 44 twice with a remainder of 8 and whenever you've got a fraction you must simplify it when it's like an answer so 8 over 18 is 4 over 9 so it's 2 and 4 over 9 moving on to question 4 where we are um, quite, usual, quite usual now we have to expand and simplify so we have 2x plus 3 multiplying x squared take 4x plus 1 ok, uh, easy way to do that is to take split this up put the 2x there and copy that there, then put plus 3 and copy that there. So we split this up into uh, two sets of multiplications. So we now have six little multiplications to do. We have 1, 2, 3 on this side, 4, 5, 6 multiplications over here. So uh, let's do it. 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times minus 4x, 2 minus 4s is minus 8 x times x is x squared, so it's minus 8x squared, plus 2x times 1 is just 2x. There we go. Moving on to the second 3. Plus 3 times x squared is plus 3x squared, plus 3 times minus 4. A positive times a negative is a negative, and 3 4s are 12, so it's negative 12, and don't forget there's an x there. Positive 3 times positive 1 is positive 3. Now let's tidy things up by uh, collecting terms that have got the same power of x. They're called like terms. OK, 2x cubed, nothing else involving x cubed. That just gets copied. Let's move down one power to the x squared. So we have minus 8x squared plus 3. Minus 8 add 3 is minus 5. So that's minus 5x squared. Let's drop down to the x's now. Plus 2, take 12 is minus 10x. And then we have what we call the term independent of x, that's the plus 3. So there we have it there, 2x cubed, take 5x squared, take 10x plus 3. OK, let's move on to question 5, where you're presented with a pyramid on top of a cube. And you're asked to find the coordinates of two points on this shape. We're asked to get the coordinates of B and C. OK, right, so um, let's have a quick look at this. Now, A is the point 6, 0, 0. So that's telling you that the length of each side of the cube is 6. So that's 6, that's 6, that's 6. And it tells you the height of the pyramid is half the height of the cube. So hopefully you can see that I've just penciled in a little 3 there just to remind me. OK, let's get the coordinates of B. Where's B? There it is there. So how do you get from uh, the origin to B? Well, you don't go along the X. So it's 0 along the X, 6 along the Y, and 6 up on the Z. So B is 0, 6, 6. And where is C? Of course, there it is up there. How do you get from the origin to C? You go halfway along, so that's 3. Halfway back gets you to the centre. And remember, 6 and 3, it's 9 up. So, C is the point 3, 3, 9. On to question 6. Question 6 presents you with a, a straight line drawn on an xy axis, and uh, of course the usual question would be, what is the equation? Okay. Right, there's two ways to get this, depending on what your teachers, how your teachers taught you. Okay, I'll attempt to show you both ways and see which one uh, 
you prefer. Okay. Now, both methods uh, need you to get the gradient. So let's get the gradient or steepness of this line. So we have A minus 1, 6. And we have B being 3 minus 2. Well, the gradient is Y2 minus Y1 minus 2 take 6 over 3 take minus 1. Minus 2 take 6 is minus 8. 3 add 1 is 4. So the gradient is minus 2. Now, you've either been taught y minus b is mx minus a for a line of gradient m going through the point a, b. Or you've been taught y equals mx plus c. So let's work out both of these. So we have a line for this side here. We have a line gradient minus 2 going through minus 1, 6. That's the a, b I've chosen. Could have chosen that. Uh, but that's the one I'll do. So here we go. So y minus b6 is m times x minus minus 1. Okay, take away a negative. That's plus. Okay, so let's uh, tidy this up. So y minus 6 is minus 2x minus plus. Take away two ones or two. Put over the 6. So y is minus 2x. Take 2 plus 6. So y is minus 2x plus 4. Okay? If you were taught y equals mx plus c, then for any point on the line, the y coordinate is m times the x coordinate plus a certain number. Okay? And if we choose the minus 1, 6 again, then it means that 6 has to be m times the x coordinate of minus 1 plus c. But we know the gradient is minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 1 is 2. So 6 is 2 plus something, of course that's 4, so C is 4, so whichever way you work it out, Y is minus 2X plus 4.